Hello students, how are you? Today we will going to discuss about the chapter called Some Natural Phenomena. It is the chapter 15 of class 8 science. This is the first part and we are going to discuss the detailed question and answers. So the first one is select the correct option in the question 1 and 2. So here you can see the first question which of the following cannot be charged easily by friction. The options are a plastic scale, a copper rod, an inflated balloon and a woolen cloth. We know that the answer is copper rod. Why? Because in copper rod the electricity is not static. It is a movable electricity so you cannot charge the copper rod easily by friction. Next, when a glass rod is rubbed with a piece of silk cloth and the rod, the options are and the cloth both acquire positive charge. The rod becomes positively charged while the cloth has a negative charge. C. The rod and the cloth both acquire negative charge and the 4 is the rod becomes negatively charged while the cloth has a positive charge. The answer is B. The rod becomes positively charged while the cloth has a negative charge. Okay, let's move on. So here you have to find the true and false. Like charges attract each other. It is false. We know that like charges always repels each other. Next, a charged glass rod attract a charged plastic straw. Yes, it is true because the nature of the charges in glass rod and a plastic straw is not the same and we know the opposite charges attracts each other. Lightning conductor cannot protect a building from lightning. This is totally false because lightning conductor installed in the building for its safety only. So, lightning conductor do protect a building from lightning. Last one, earthquake. earthquakes can be predicted in advance. This is totally false. Earthquakes cannot be predicted in advance. Okay, next. Sometimes a cracking sound is heard while taking off your sweater in the winter season. You probably heard that uh, a cracking or a sound like chit 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 can be heard when you are taking off your sweater after wearing for a long time. It is because the cracking sound is produced due to the static electricity. When we wearing the sweater, the wool is in contact with our body, there is a friction as there is a rubbing between the body and the woolen cloth. We always move our body uh, so the woolen sweater gets contact in our body and it uh, gets the frictional force with our body. Due to this friction, woolen sweater gets charged. And uh, we hear the cracking sound while taking off the sweater during winter due to that frictional charge acquired by the sweater. Sweater is made up of wool and we know that wool gets the static electricity. Next, explain why a charged body loses its charge if we touch it with our hand. It is simple because our body can also conduct electricity and when a static charged body is touched by us simply the electricity in that body connects with our body and as a conductor our body send that electricity that static electricity to the earth so it becomes or it loses its charge Next, name the scale on which the destructive energy of an earthquake is measured. Next is, an earthquake measures 
3 on this scale would it be recorded by a seismograph and is it likely to cause much damage so here we have plenty of questions let's answer it one by one uh, first is the scale used to measure the earthquake is called the Richter scale uh, next one is yes the earthquake measures 3 on this scale can be recorded by a seismograph and last one is the earthquake with a magnitude of 3 Richter scale is not likely to cause much damage we know that the earthquake uh, which is 5 or 6 or more than that can cause a destructive damage to the properties here is a picture of a seismograph so in this picture you can see the all the structures of a seismograph okay so here the next question is about lightning as you can see in the background suggest three measures to protect ourselves from lightning yes we know that lightning is a devastating phenomena and this is a natural disaster that this can cause a natural disaster and let's see the measures the three measures are stay under covered area or inside the room we know that lightning only hits uh, the taller uh, subjects so we need to hide ourselves during lightning to get ourselves protected next one is we should avoid op open vehicle like bicycles etc so uh, as I have said open areas are very dangerous when it is lightning so we need to hide that's why we should not ride on a bike or a cycle during the lightning and last is we should not use weird phone because lightning can cause a massive electric force or it can uh, produce a massive electricity if it can contact anywhere nearby your house uh, it can conduct electricity through the or through that wire and if we can uh, if we use wired phone it can be dangerous because that uh, electricity could harm us because it is beyond our imagination if you have any question please ask on the comment section and please do share and subscribe for more classes thank you